Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from the RE Plus International Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon, I'm joined by Tom Brennan from Solark, and we're going to be taking a, brand, uh, a look at the brand new Solark 5K single phase unit. So, Tom, thanks for joining us. Oh, happy to be here. So, Tom, the, the last time I saw you in person, uh, it was in this very building, and we were looking at, at the time, was the, the new Solark 8K uh, split phase unit. Um, tell us, what's changed from, from, now to, uh, from then to now, and what has kind of influenced the design of your new 5K single phase unit? Okay, so, so that was uh, four years ago. Our, our 8K we thought was plenty powerful enough for, for many customers. It's a, it's a split phase native unit, uh, so it does 120 and 240 simultaneously without transformers. Um, what it didn't do is it wasn't stackable and customers wanted stackable because installers wanted to do a lot more with, you know, more power. So we came out with the, the 12K, which was stackable. Uh, it had 9K of AC output and other things. But anyway, um, the, the point is we, we, we made a stackable solution, um, and that was two some odd years ago, and that wasn't more powerful enough. Everybody was stacking to 12Ks, and so we came out with the 15K, which was, had a whole home transfer switch built in, very powerful, like a generator replacement for 15K, and it did 15K of AC output power. Um, what, it, what we didn't have is something very, very small, very compact for like RVs, you know, the real off-grid community that lives off-grid, they don't need a 15K, they need like 5K. Um, or, uh, you know, something small, something affordable, uh, more DIY friendly. And that's what this was about. We, we did a single phase, you know, it does, it does 5 kilowatts or 4.8 kilowatts at 120. It also does 8 kilowatts at, at 240. Um, this was really geared for a worldwide use. Um, so, um, anyway, we just wanted something that was more affordable for a low cost kind of market, but had all the bells and whistles, AC coupling, DC coupling, UPS transfer time, great interface, 10 year warranty, all those type of things. Excellent, excellent. Well, one of the nice things about the Solar compared to a traditional hybrid inverter systems, particularly a DC coupled hybrid inverter systems, is you know prior to the Solar, you you had separate charge controllers, and then you had a separate control panel, separate switch gear, as well as the main inverter system for the system. And Solar basically took all those components and and integrated it into one appliance. So now you know as a potential installer or maybe somebody who's doing a DIY install. You hang one piece of equipment on the wall, land your solar, land your battery, land your generator, and then power out to your loads without having all these different, you know, separate boxes. So it does make for a cleaner install. Now, I'm, I'm curious in particular, what led you all to, to go from the split phase model to offering the 5K in a, in a single phase configuration? So that's a good question. What we found in, in the real off-grid communities is that, uh, so, so for example, we're, we're already in thousands of off-grid communities and they only needed five kilowatts of power. Um, that was one. Number two is they only needed 120 volts. They didn't need 240 volt appliances. And we could provide a lot more power in a single phase unit than, than a split phase native unit. Um, and we could do it at a more effective cost. So this, this was after, you know, places that were cost sensitive, off grid, this made more sense than, for example, a split phase 8K. They didn't need the 240, they just needed 120, and they still needed generator capability, gen start capability, all the bells and whistles of our, our, our more expensive units. Excellent, excellent. Now, I have been following this, this for a while, Tom, and I, I have heard some reports about some of the earlier Solox struggling to, to handle very large unbalanced loads. And so when we talk about a split phase system, guys, what we're talking about is you have, you have two lines. You have your line one, your line two, and your neutral. So if you want a 240 volt circuit, you use both lines, line one to line two, to connect your circuit. If you're doing a, just a 120 volt circuit, you just use one of those two legs. And you know, I've heard about some issues where if you have too much load just coming off of one leg and not the other leg, then it could, it could you know, cause the system to operate in an unstable fashion. So for those of you that don't really need a split phase system, if you don't really need to power 240 volt loads, then having a single phase unit actually gives you a more balanced, more efficient inversion. Is that correct? That, that's correct. And, and you're right, our, our 8Ks and 12Ks had limited, you know, there were a few appliances out there 
they were still right at the very high end of like some really big table saws. Some, some, some motors that were convertible between 120 and 240, uh, they were that big, that, that would trip the, the, the single, one of the lines on the two-phase systems. So that's why we did the 15K. There's no way you can overload the 120 volt side of it. And that's why we also did this, because you can't overload. We, we've, we've tested this a lot, and uh, there's no 120 volt load that can overload this thing that we've seen. Single load. Single load, right, right. And so that, that's actually part of the reason why, you know, we've chosen to use the Solar 5K single phase for the backup system for our new home in South Carolina. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be doing a more hands-on review of that product, actually showing as it's being installed and how we're doing it. But, but I think the big thing is, as I no longer have a need to power a 240 volt well pump, where I really would need the split phase system, my critical loads now really are all 120 volts or less, and I have more work to do on above the ground, you know, water treatment and water storage in terms of our, our household preparedness plan. But if you don't really need to power 240 volt loads, and again, if you, unless you have a, a deep well pump or you you have to run a large a large central air conditioning compressor, for, from a prep application for an off grid application, most homeowners don't really need a 240 volt split phase, and so that's why I think the single phase is a much better much better fit for that's us. That's correct. And and we still in the 8Ks and 12Ks had lots of 240 volt power capability. It was just when you were trying to do the 120 only, some of those a few big high current appliances would, would trip it. So anyway, 15K solves it and this 5K solves it. So Tom, when is this going to be available for installers and homeowners to purchase? It's available now. And are you selling direct or through distribution? It's through distribution. Okay, so if you're an installer out there, this is something that you can get your hands on today. Um, again, as I said, we'll be doing a more, a more hands-on, in-depth uh, evaluation of the product to give you a sense of how the installation process goes through. Um, of course, if, if you're a homeowner out there and you're looking for a solar plus storage solution, um, if you need to get a quote on a Solark install or, or a similar solar plus battery backup system, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there and you can set up a Zoom call with one of our team members here uh, and see what options and what, what, what the numbers might look like for your home. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the information that we're pu publishing here on Solar Surge, be sure to click on the like button. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if, if you haven't done so already. Uh, you know, we're out here talking to Tom and, and covering products like this uh, to make sure that you all that, that couldn't be here physically still have the most up-to-date product information. Well, Tom, thank you again for taking time to chat with us today. Oh, yeah, happy to do it. Absolutely. Well, folks, that's it for this video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.